Obviously, we don't need to travel very far to find fish. Once we find a likely spot, it takes only minutes for the crew to launch all three Hobie Mirage kayaks. And then, it's game on. The keen eyes of our captain and crew spotted some free swimming stripies. We just drop our live baits into the water and then troll around the area. <laughs> oh, geez, what chaos here. Ride them, Bill, ride them. Those fish have no problem zeroing in on our baits. OK, Mr. Marlin, you're trying to pull me all the way into the sunset here? How fun is this? <laughs> oh, life is good. I like to see this fish get up and jump a little bit, but it just kind of got, got his nose down. He's just, uh, he just headed up swell. Used to be a huge amount of pressure on these fish with the Japanese longline fleet. And that's now gone. And the marlin fishery is as good today here as it was, as it was 30 years ago. Coming up, boys. Yeah. Once you hook up to a fish, it's much better to set your rudder straight, and then when the fish heads off to the right or left, lower your rod tip down to the bow and hold it there. The fish will then turn your kayak in the direction in which it's heading. What I find fascinating, however, is the difference between fishing from a kayak and a boat. On a boat like our Huckins, if you hook a fish, you slowly but surely drag the fish to you. In a kayak, when you hook a fish, you slowly drag yourself to the fish. The human-fish connection seems much more intimate and immediate when you are in the kayak right down at water level. One experiences a greatly diminished sense of superiority. You're doing great, Bill. Fishing from a kayak most definitely levels the playing field in favor of the fish. We got him leader. Back down hard, Lee. Look at him grin. Once you get the leader in hand, you need to be very gentle so the fish doesn't go ballistic on you. Way to go, Bill! Go, baby! <laughs> that hook is really embedded. <laughs> All right, we're good. It's more important than ever that this tired fish get some oxygen across its gills after the fight since the battle took much longer than usual. That thing is almost as long as the kayak. That's his first. When you say kayak, most people think paddles. But reviving this fish in any other kind of kayak other than this Hobie would be virtually impossible. And notice how stable it is riding Beam 2 in these ocean swells. Thank you for inviting me down here. That was a real thrill. That was really fun. Dang fish didn't want to come up junk. Just kept down, 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 down till the very end. <laughs>